Do you know who we are? We think you should. Our stories are part-time in-work students at Sheffield Hallam University. I'm Maggie. I work as a service coordinator for Yorkshire Smoke Free. I'm doing the health leadership course. I love it. What's important is the sense of belonging you get from being a student here. I'll visit the library as often as I can and I'll do work in there and prioritise my time. You can help me by recognising that, as daft as it sounds, providing step-by-step -step stuff at the earliest opportunity helps me engage. I'm Julie and I work as a stroke nurse practitioner. To reinforce Maggie's point, the more pre-entry work done, the better. For example, knowing how the library works before I got here so I don't stand out. It's intimidating when you don't know how. I think you need to get rid of the assumption that because I'm doing an honours degree, I know what I'm doing from a very early stage. Putting in simple ongoing support strategies would be great. I'm Jen. I'm a matron in the NHS. I'm a part-time leadership student. I've had to develop resilience as it's like being on an emotional roller coaster. The first day was, wow, I'm doing a degree. You've got excitement and then you go through fear. And I don't want to do this anymore. It's just too much. All those feelings. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm a senior social care manager. Planning and managing time for study when you've got a challenging full-time job is really hard especially when you change your job five months in. It feels like my world is consumed by reading and completing assignments. I often find myself saying, oh no, here's another one. Being able to co-design what, when and how I am assessed would be really helpful. I must admit though, I'm still glad I'm doing it, but don't tell anyone. I'm Teresa and I work as a project manager for a community health trust. I came to the selection day and got lost I didn't realise there were two campuses. I wandered around looking at the map, not recognising anything. Help students gain confidence by encouraging them not to be too hard on themselves. They shouldn't come in with the expectation that, three months in, they should get it all, understand referencing and academic articles. I'm still learning to stop punishing myself. Universities can help by letting people like me hear realistic but positive experiences about changing expectations. My name's Tracy and I work as a paramedic and I'm also a part-time leadership student. At university, assumptions are made about engagement linked to technology. I don't like doing online work, it's not me. I'd rather have a face-to-face, -face, but if it weren't like Facebook where it's simple and instant, I might use it more. I can use the technology, it's just that we use so many different systems, either at work or university. You forget. I'm thinking, how did I reply to that? Where can it be seen? I'm Julia, acting matron on a renal unit. Everybody's got to find their own way of engaging. We come off an hour early and talk stuff through, also at lunch times. Our ways work well for us. It doesn't mean we're not engaging. Although it's hard, we're enjoying it because we help co-design our course by... Influencing pre-entry information and preparation. Planning strategies for resilience. Co-designing our assessments. Making our voices heard by sharing our experiences. Challenging assumptions about engagement. Supporting each other through the process. We might be part time, but we're still a big part of this university. <laughs> Hello, I'm Maggie. I'm a leadership student at Sheffield Hallam University. Find out more about us and this teaching development grant project at www.heacademy.ac.uk